Guys, Ben here. Welcome back to another video on my channel, Film Fanatic. Before I begin, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support I had in my last video. It was me reviewing Fantastic Beasts and where to find them live in the Odeon Cinema. I'm hoping to do another one of those videos very, very soon. So if you haven't seen the last one, click the link in the description. That will take you to see it. But let's get into this video. So as you can see, I have just rolled out of bed, but I seen on Twitter this morning that the trailer for the new Transformers: The Last Night has just been released, and so I figured I'd need to talk about it. So I'll make the first point. I am not claiming to be a massive Transformers fan. I enjoyed the first Transformers. The rest were absolute rubbish. So please don't take me as a massive Transformers fan who knows all this, because there are a lot of things about the series that I still have no idea about. This whole video is from the perspective of just a movie goer. I am not a fan of Transformers. First of all, we see a montage of going through time. We see knights on horseback, we see the Nazis, we see World War II, we see all of that until we get to modern day. We see that just like all the other Transformers movies, people are attacking Earth. It's somehow down to Mark Wahlberg and the Transformers to fight them. Has anyone else seen a little bit of a pattern through these movies? To be totally honest with you guys, I have absolutely no idea what the storyline for the Transformers of last night is. Uh, the trailer does not show you pretty much anything. All it shows you, like everything else, is explosions, main characters, and maybe a twist. Who knows? The storylines for Transformers movies are always a bit etchy. Don't, go, don't get me wrong. I've not seen a Transformers movie yet, but I've went, that's a really good gripping storyline. And to be fair, you don't necessarily expect that from a Transformers movie. You don't expect great thought-provoking plotline. What you expect is explosions, gunfire, and to see robots fighting each other. And t to be fair, that's what you get in these movies. People always go on about the how the Transformer movies are crap and how Michael Bay is an awful director. Now, even though I said I'm not a massive fan of them and I thought they were rubbish, that's because the Transformer movies aren't really my thing. However, if you're into just an action blockbuster, Transformer movies are the way to go. You're never short of explosions, gunfire, and robot-on-robot -robot action. So if you're a fan of it, then by the looks of it, The Last Night is going to be great for you. In terms of the cast, Mark Wahlberg returns, we've got another good looking lady to lead the line and Anthony Hopkins as well. The Academy Award winner who's such a highly regarded actor around the world, a man who was just in Westworld, one of the best TV shows ever and he's in a Transformers movie. I just really didn't expect to see him in something like this. In terms of what do you actually see in the trailer, you see very little. You see explosions, gunfire, you see Mark Wahlberg teaming back up, you see the Bumblebee uh, fighting again, you see Optimus Prime floating around the Earth, you see Earth being attacked by what looks like a massive planet. Like I said, I'm not a big Transformers fan, so I, I will get things wrong, trust me. But by the looks of it, Earth is getting attacked by like another planet or like another like robot Death Star thing. And uh, it's kind of up to the Transformers and the army and pretty much the world to defend itself. And of course at the end of every trailer pretty much these days you get a little notice of one of the twists and it is in fact Optimus Prime is attacking Bumblebee and it looks like he kills him. Now, he won't because <laughs> pretty sure it's been announced that Bumblebee's going to get a standalone movie so unless it's a prequel to this he's not going to die. Do not worry everybody. When I seen in the trailer that Optimus Prime was actually dead, and of course that happened in a previous movie, I wasn't surprised. I was wondering why it was showing us it actually. Was it just to put into context that he was the greatest warrior and now he's gone, we're kind of um, down to the last men, so to speak. And then you see at the end that he's actually there fighting and attacking the humans. At first I was really confused at how this was going on. I was like, has he always been a bad guy? Is this a stupid twist to Michael Bay's through on it? And so I was looking through the comment sections, because you know, everyone in the comment section are genius nowadays. And somebody had said that no, it's not actually Optimus Prime, it's his body being controlled by the Dark Spark. But like I keep saying, I'm not a fan of Transformers, so I don't know if this is true or not. I will do a lot more research before this, but like I said, this is a really impromptu video. So I'm very sorry if my brain's kind of everywhere. That's pretty much it for me today, guys. Will I go and see the Transformers of last night? I will probably go and see it just to review it, not because I'm a fan of it. The trailer itself was very exhilarating, it showed nothing about the plot, it showed what you're going to get from Transformers movies, explosions and fighting and all that jazz. So if you are a fan of the Transformers movies or you just like big action blockbusters, this looks like it's going to be the film for you. But that's pretty much it for me today guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more trailer reviews on my channel, be sure to hit the like button down below, I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and leave in the comment section everything that I got wrong please, because I know that I got quite a lot wrong. And be sure to hit subscribe so you never miss some more Film Fanatic videos. I'll see you next time guys, take care, bye douche.